the difference between the Volt and the Bolt EV is that the Volt was an extended range electric that launched in 2010 as a 2011 model year. That initial year offered 35 miles worth of range on a single charge on its 17.8 kilowatt battery pack before seamlessly transitioning over to gasoline operation to enable roughly 370 miles on a full pick of gas and full charge. The great thing is that the inter successive iterations of the Volt now bring it to its current generation, which offers 53 miles on a full charge, and then an additional uh, driving ability up to about 420 miles. We know from data from our drivers that they're going roughly 1,000 miles between gasoline and Phillips. So it's a really effective way of driving, having the benefits of driving electric, while also still having the ability to uh, travel on a greater length if need be. Uh, without stopping to recharge. In the case of the Bolt EV, which just launched in December of 2016, we offer a 238 mile all electric EV at a starting price of 37495 before federal or state tax incentives. That combination of range and price for an EV is unprecedented. Previously, if you were looking at a vehicle in this price point as an EV, you'd get half the amount of range. And if you were looking for a vehicle with this kind of range, you'd be talking three times the amount of money. The Volt has historically seen a buyer who is um, high, higher household income, um, has a higher level of education, a little bit more family oriented, and we certainly see the same thing coming for Bolt EV. Um, it attracts a lot of new buyers to the brand. Most importantly though, the Bolt EV is packaged as a small crossover. It's got this very compact footprint, so it really feels like what we refer to as a B-segment uh, size. But once you could jump inside, you realize it's got roughly the size of a very large mid-sized vehicle. So uh, thanks to the flat battery pack design, enabling all that room inside, much more of a small crossover presence than you would see from something like the Chevrolet Volt. So two different vehicles, two different segments, although I think attracting some of the same interest, if you will.